everybody, welcome back to Grilling with B. I am Vanessa. It's been a while since I posted my last video. I took a little bit of time off and I had a kind of a staycation thing. I didn't do any cooking or anything. I was away uh, visiting family and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm back at it. And today I'm going to do my own take on streetwise Mexican corn. So it's summer living in the valley of British Columbia and uh, the best perks about where I work, uh, I actually get access to Chilliwack corn. If people don't know what Chilliwack corn is, it's kind of famous here in the valley or the lower mainland of BC. I have them shucked and soaking here just while the grill is just getting fired up. You don't have to soak them too long. I'd say minimum a half hour just while your grill's getting prepped. So since our grill's almost up to temperature, we're gonna prep the corn to be put on there. So you're gonna need a sheet pan, some paper towel, extra virgin olive oil, or even just any kind of oil really, uh, fresh cracked pepper, and some salt. I like to use the sea salt, and then a little baster brush. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the corn from the water, kind of shake off as much water as you can. We're just gonna roll it or dry it in the paper towel. Just trying to get most of the water and moisture off. And then sit on the pan. And we're gonna do this for all, I'm gonna do six today. If you need more paper towel, feel free to use more paper towel. Okay, now that we have the corn all dried off, we're going to dip our little basting brush in the oil and just start basting them with the oil. Don't be shy because most of it honestly is going to drip and fall off, so. Just to help the salt and pepper stick and So once they're coated with the olive oil, now we're going to just give them a little dash of salt and pepper here. Alright, now some cracked pepper. Really? I kind of just do a half rotation. Doesn't have to be around the entire thing. All right, these are ready for the barbecue. All right, so I have the setting set at 225. Uh, it can be between yeah, 225, 250, sitting at 230 right now. Perfect. Uh, for those who don't know, um, I did end up getting a new control panel and a new thermometer uh, from the Pit Boss customer service, and it happens to fix all the temp swings I was getting. So I don't know if anybody knows, but I was having like temp swings, they've been like up 100 degrees, so they said that was completely wrong, and, but yeah, now I actually set it at 225, and it sits at 225, and maybe has fluctuations of 25 degrees to 30 degrees, so nothing I'm worrying about any now. Uh, today I'm also using um, the Pit Boss Apple Blend Pellets. I will leave um, in the description, uh, you know, all the instructions and everything I've used. Uh, for this cook. Alright, so let's put the corn on. Alright, now that the corn's on, we'll close the lid and we'll keep it closed for the next hour and a half. 
if you do notice, I do have a little water pad in there. Um, I've learned just like it helps with the moisture and everything and so far it's kind of helped me so let's do it. Okay so I just finished prepping everything. The original you know Mexican street corn actually uses conita cheese but I don't have any around here so instead I'm just using regular feta that I've just grated. Some mayonnaise, cayenne pepper, chili powder, and some uh, lime wedges. So I got six here, so I got one one uh, lime wedge for uh, each cob there. All right, just uh, waiting on the corn to be done, and then we'll start putting it together. So we're about 45 minutes in right now. We're just gonna give the corn uh, just a half turn. Let's check it out. They're looking really good. Another 45 minutes to go. All right, it's been an hour and a half. Let's take a look. Looks good to me. You can do like a field test. Yeah, the kernels are like softer. So yeah, they're good to go. Go back inside. All right, now that we have the corn inside, let's start assembling. So let's do the two here. So we start off with the mayonnaise. Now we're going to do is we're going to roll it in the feta cheese. Then we're going to put some chili powder on there. So we're going to put some chili powder. Not too much, just enough to dust it, just so you have a little bit of flavor. I like to add a little bit of heat, so cayenne pepper, just a little bit. Then, to finish off, I'm going to do the lime wedge, just my take on Mexican street corn, elute. I just want to quickly add that um, if you didn't want to have the Mexican elute, uh, this is exactly how I do my corn in the cob. So honestly, you can even, I, I eat it just as it is right now. It's really, really good. But if you want to add butter to it or clarified butter, that's really, really good too. But yeah, it's the exact same recipe. Uh, the brush, the oil on there, salt and pepper, uh, put it on the, on the smoker, the pellet grill at 225 to 250 for an hour and a half and turning uh, 45 minutes in, you're good to go. Well, that's it. 
my uh, take on elute or the Mexican street corn. Uh, if you like the video, please like, or if you like my channel, please subscribe. Until next time, happy grilling!